finally make that good first power spike in the early game, having that level 2 hook. But here they go. A nice arrow connection is going to be on the Yapsor. They follow it up with a kinetic field. Then there's the Burrow. With Thunderstrike on top, is it going to be enough potential to get the finish? It will. And it's going to be Escape Gaming who strike first. Kezu will pick up the first blood on his Sand King. Mm -hmm. Pudge will pick up his level 2. That doesn't really matter by comparison. Oh, and Entity's is going to eat the arrow. That oh, might be a kill. Oh, no. Yaps with a beautiful setup. He's going to be in the four position to make the first strides here. and helps connect for Koikva to be able to secure that escape off 2-0. Yeah, very nice flank. Pudge, unfortunately, will not find its target as Cinderin will be able to sidestep it. And now it could be the Pudge in a bit of trouble here. Thunderstrike, Burrow, a glimpse could be there if Cinderin thinks it's necessary. Instead, we'll opt to use it onto TMW to pull him back in the way. They will be able to get the finish onto Roger, but Cinderin is going to be the next one in trouble. He gets taken down, AM will pick up that one, and it will be a 1 1 apiece. It's really annoying here. Shotslow is actually just following Era, and oh, it's still going bottom. Yeah, it looks like they were able to connect with an arrow here on the Van score, and that means Yapser will be able to move in, gets the Starfall, and gets that kill. And we're not done yet. Roger moves and gets the hook, pulls K, and that's going to lead to his own takedown, though. He actually gets the suicide off just in time, but another unfortunate situation could have led to a kill. Oh, oh my man. God. Yapsor with the snipe gets the Starfall. Van score tries to help out with the Fates Edict, but. Yeah, the auto attack was already there. Sunstrike, nice connection from Dendi. <laughs> I was trying to catch the target there at the end, but Kezu's not going to be able to make it away. He gets the... Not seeing enough really come out for their side. In fact, we're going to see Escape make their move onto Dendi, who just finished, used his Midas, but now he's going to lose his life. Walk in, straight up Burrow, straight up Epi. Dendi will try his best to ghost walk and creep out the other side, but unfortunately, it's a bit too slow with the Epi slowdown, and of course, the ghost walk he cannot... Get out. And oh, he gets dropped. Easy pick up on Cinderin, though. It's going to be Shot Slow just opening up with your most basic of Nick's combos and being able to TP away from Era. So does uh, clean up the support on the other side. Then yeah. get the smoke. You have to get the smoke and then get the blink. Oh, you know? but it breaks early. So it, it looks does. like it's just going to go. I hope this goes well for them. Oh, he actually nice gets crazy. hooked. Grab from Roger here. Pulls Kezu to the tower. Sorry. He doesn't manage to get the blink at the last second, so he will be able to hold on to that bit of gold. But here comes the comeback. Up flip side. They'll make it two. Emphatic Mana Void comes out on the Cinderin. Great feed CD coming out for Manscore as well. A lot of static storm damage. I mean, it's a hard question to answer because there are so many things that they kind of need before they can actually address this Naga Siren. And we're going to hear an epicenter blink coming out on the top lane. Shot slow, doesn't get the Carapace off, will be going down very quickly. If uh, not for the Caustic doing uh, enough damage to kill him off. It was close. It was really close. Beautiful uh, time BM pause right at his own uh, destruction right there. Yeah, of course, legit. He put on the wayside for the future. But uh, now rotations are coming in from Flip and Escape are moving down there. Ooh. They move in. They get a nice glimpse to send back out and away. The Oracle, Roger, uh, looks like a man isolated and alone will be taken down. Mm -hmm. Both Dendi and TMW are not going to have any say in that matter and will just let Escape take him. And someone will talk about the fact that they just had to burn a Static Storm and an Epicenter to bring down a support. But any kills for Escape right now are great. They're always building momentum. They're always getting a firmer grasp on the game. If they're just delaying flip side strategy and killing off Roger like that, we'll accomplish this. Back behind the tower, Kezu's feeling a bit frisky. Makes the move for Denny. Denny walks back it away. He's going to be able to get the sun strike off. Will connect on the era. Has to go into Ghost Walk, but they see him and they're pouncing for him. They're going to be able to get him down. And now they look for the follow up. Shot glow. No one in Viz is safe. Sentries are down. Detection's in full force. Nice. Last second save there by Vanscore is going to be able to get off the False Promise. I don't know if enough damage be has been okay. through. Be okay. Yeah, Purifying Flames are going to be coming through, so he should be fine. But back on the other side, they are going to be able to take the Mirana down. Kezu jumps back in, gets off the Burrow Strike, eats a Mana Void, though. And they're going to be able to start shredding him forward. Era makes the approach for TMW. Knight's Face Edict will prevent any sort of right-click damage, but then he quickly shrugs it off with that Pact. And now looks to go for the finish. Nice clinch by him. A double kill for Era. Roger stringing together a couple of kills for himself, but it looks like he will ultimately hand them back over. Era secures it with a triple at the end, and it looks like TMW will be the only survivor for Flipside as he goes right back to the top lane to get right back into the farm. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't know how you recover from this. I mean, you lose one hero, and then they burn two ultimates. They realize that you're weak and that you're trying to defend this tactic. And they're not done yet. Jump in. Kezu, a man on a mission here. Nice connection with the Burrow will lead to the arrow, but that will mean Kazoo gets hooked himself. Put back in behind. Sunstrike will help get the finish. 
It's going to be flip side with their own counterplay and response. Roger unable to find a couple of the hooks in the early game, but they're slowly coming together here and now, but they still will need more. Shashko looking to move in. Nice strike onto Yapser. We'll be able to connect. And the hook once again comes out from Roger Boy, and he'll be able to pull that one home. Two kills the way of flip side. Nice little play there. Um, but we're going to see the Static Storm and Kinetic onto Dendi, and he will be brought down once again, always having a sentry ward or dust or even both just to make sure they can kill off this invoker. If Escape were even to kind of be on the slightly bad end of these trades, the big grand scheme of things is that Quake was farming and doing work. Back at mid lane era, has been able to make the move for Roger, and he easily shreds him apart. That big man, he falls, and he falls hard. And era is going to be able to just, again, skate away and be this nuisance. I want to move away from the, the early game in a moment, but I do want to say one thing. It's, okay, as we go see Vanscore just get jumped on here, not enough mana for much of anything, but... Uh, it's going to be Arrow who goes for the disengage and realizes he just won't be able to get the job done. But uh, the one thing that I'm noting here is, as we just see Arrow just constantly on the roam, and actually because my anti-mage killed off on top thanks to a Sand King and a Yaps or Arrow combo. All that happens, they're still looking to go in for Era, who has been a real pain in the ass here for Flipside. It looks like they may have finally been able to get their chance at grabbing him down, but as I say that, Sindarin steps in, drops down the Static Storm, and now it's looking to be Escape's kind of a game. Just as Roger shows up, he gets sent right back home by Sindarin. Multiple plays coming out from him. Sunstrike, not going to be on the mark. Vanscore looking to retreat, but they catch him with the Burrow. Roger moves in. Can he get the hook? No! Not going to be able to find the connection to pull back anyone from Escape. And again, Escape, going to be able to get the best end of it, especially with the AM being the first to fall in that top lane. It makes it a wonderful showing for Escape to be able to kind of dictate what they want out of the overall big picture through that early <laughs> laning phase. And Yapsor quickly realizing that there is just nowhere safe. As he goes down, so does his Nyx assassin buddy right on the other side of the globe. Yapsor setting up you. He's trying to cut creep waves. He's farming on the dire side by the, the secret shop. He's just trying to get anything he can while he can. But at the end of the day, he's so far behind. Looks like they've uh, spotted Roger as he's hooked in Cinderin. Cinderin has going to be forced to pop out the static storm and everything, but he will lose his own life. Luckily, Kezu will be there as a strong teammate to be able to find the revenge for him. Uh, still puts into a... Even to holding the, their own side of the map. Like, they're on fully on the defense with heroes uh -oh. that are meant to play at this stage of the game. We got a six... Leg on six late fight breaking out here between Kezu and Shatchglow. Kezu looking to make the move in. They end up walking themselves into a two-man stun. Air is able to find a kill himself all the meanwhile, but we'll keep action here at the top lane as Kezu not going to be able to make it away. Tries to blink out, but there's a purifying flames there waiting for him by the hands of Vanscore. Makes it a trade one for one all day. But Clark is just doing so much burst physical damage, and they can kill anybody in a very sh short span of time. What's that? Slark doing work? Yeah, he's still doing it. Top lane, jumping for Shatchglow here. False Promise keeps him alive for now, but it's just delaying the inevitable as he'll eventually pop from the bubble. And then Roger, though, jumping in, gets a nice little trade, finding Yapsor here, looking for the grab on the arrow, uh, and again. blocked once more. Dendi, come on, you're, you're, you are a punch player here. Get out of the line of fire. Roger's so upset about it, he just throws himself into the enemies, and he ends up going down in the rest of escape, or flip side, rather, just get the hell back. Hmm. Good comeback goal, at the very least, but they're going to need a lot more than that. Uh, the Antimage... Still sitting on the Yasha here. A Gem of True Sight coming out for Vanscore. I like that. Uh, has a better way to respond to the Slark than just Sentry Wards. Oh, man. Dendi, it's... He put on a really strong showing in game number one under the Timber Saw. We understand he is put in a situation where he was probably called as a last second stand in. Again! Arrow! <laughs> arrow with two! He gets two arrows right now! Woo! And this one might lead to his demise! Cinderin catches with the Static Storm, with the Kinetic Field. They got the Thunder Strike. The Glimpse is going to be there and they will pull him back and away. Sorry, TMW. You got to go back into the trees where you belong Three and be arrows. taking Darrow. Unbelievable! Three arrows. I cannot believe that. I mean, th yes, it was set up with the fact that AM was farming with his TP on cooldown, moving about, about the map, but finding him in the tree line three times. Oh. Absolutely ludicrous play from Yapsor here. Oh, my God. Looking to close out this series, the 1-1 one -one split, and that could lead to, unfortunately, Flipside being taken out mathematically. Kez is going to be off the mark with the Burrow, but Roger eats just a wealth of damage and will be put into the grave. No defensive pudge for at least 40 seconds time. Nice glimpse back. We'll send Shotchko under and into the Static Storm. There will be a save of the False Promise, but that means it's not going to be there for the AM or anyone else moving forward. Era's already gone to work. He gets rid of the Oracle after he gets everything off he needs, and I think this could be it. Now the Tier 3 going to be open. Shotchko is going to be waiting under his Ag's Burrow, but Chaos here is even Koikfa's helped pressure down the mid lane at the same moment.
Help being spread thin on the side of flip side. Oh, and Shashglo hiding underground. Is able to kind of help with a bit of regen, but Era's like, you know what, while you're under there, just stay down there. I'll bury you alive. Puts him down and under. They're going to get the follow-up. His Dendi will also be there to drop. Rax is on the bottom lane, now exposed. Escape will claim their first lane. Yeah, and it's just me, Era, running them over. He's got so much agility stolen. He's got 14, 0, and 7. He's gotten everything he wanted out of this game. They planned it out. The dodge does not. But he gets that final victory. smile, that little smirk. He's like, I lost the game, but at least I got to do that cool Manta dodge, but I think Yapsor gets the props for the cool play there at the end, of course. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. Escape about to claim their second set of racks and eventually the game here. Trashko looking to move in for any sort of defense is welcome by a new Static Storm, and that will do it! 1-1 one, one split for our first BO2 of the day, and I believe that will mean that, unfortunately for Flipside,